Thank you for joining us for this next video in our Cedar Hot Tub video series. Today we're going to be working out in the hot sun, yay! And we're going to be working on getting our benches installed and installing our floor drain plumbing system. Um, I actually worked well into the night last night to get these benches cut. And what they are is simply 2x4, which actually comes down to 2x8s cut in half. And then we had some leftover staves that we didn't really have a use for, partly because we only cut them because we, we thought we might need extras. They have blemishes, knots, they have some other surface blemishes. So they were kind of not really ideal, but we kept them just in case. Well, turns out we don't need them for the hot tub, so we decided to make them into part of our bench. As you can see, we're only going to be installing four sides of a hexagon. The reason for that is the wood-fired stove will sit where there is no bench, which gives it extra depth. The hardware for this set of benches was around $44. We need around 60 screws, and you're gonna pay about 50 to 75 cents probably for a eight millimeter, two and a half inch screw. Uh, so let's get to installing this in the hot tub, and then we'll work on the drain. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm assembling the supports for the bench. Uh, it's a small four-sided support, obviously. Uh, the top piece is long and it sits on these uh, supports. These are 13 inches, this is six inches, and this guy is three and a quarter. He sits right in the middle, just there. Um, so uh, we'll get these put together and then we'll check back in. A quick tip on how to cut hexagonal benches. The longest uh, length here is actually equal to the radius of your circle. So measure your circle, cut it in half. That's this length here. These angles are 60, or excuse me, they're 30 degree cuts. And you can simply cut your first piece here, measure this distance here, and then subtract roughly one quarter of an inch to include this small gap. That'll give you this measurement, cut your 30 degree angle, and you're all set to go. Of course, you can Google all that stuff, that's all I did, and you're good to go. All right, benches are all put together, everything's screwed together. Now, let's put it in the hot tub. But before we do that, let's have Alyssa join me on the bench. Hi. It's too hot to cuddle. <laughs> it's too hot. All right, bench fits, yay! Uh, something to note about these benches, they're a little bit small, but you can see that once you're sitting on the bench, your butt can come all the way up against the wall of the tub here. We actually sat across from this with our butts on the bench out here on the deck, and we had plenty of room between people, so we do feel pretty comfortable with four people in the five-foot tub, um, so pretty cool. So our plumbing on the hot tub is actually going to be pretty straightforward. We purchased a two-inch normal push shower drain. So we're gonna go ahead and install this at the floor of the hot tub. And one thing to keep in mind is to not install the drain where your supports are. We actually had to add a little bit extra support, maybe an inch and a half to make sure that this uh, turn has clearance over the ground so it doesn't butt into the ground like that. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a two inch hole and get this installed. It was pretty tight. All right, drain's installed. We're gonna go ahead and extend the elbow out and then put this small ball valve in line there. Just a second shut off. And then also we're gonna hook up uh, ideally a garden hose to the end here so we can actually use the water from the tub around the property. Plumbing is all done, super straightforward. Now we need to secure the benches and then it's time to fill it with water and see if it works. All right, benches are installed, plumbing is installed and it's time to fill up the tub. How exciting. We've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. If you wanna learn more about our DIY Cedar Hot Tub project, or if you want to learn more about our off-grid homestead, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll put a button right here. 
Also, feel free to subscribe to our blog. It's peerlivingforlife.com. We also have a Facebook page and an Instagram channel, and we post a lot of stuff on there that doesn't always make it to YouTube or the blog, so follow us there as well. And we'll include links to everything below this video. We'll see you next time.